What is going on everybody? My name is Japes. Welcome back to another episode of the Sunday Silvers. Before we get into the episode though, if you guys are looking to pick up any MSP or PSN cards, make sure to check out thegamekeys.co.uk or if FIFA coins are more your thing, check out justfifacoins.com. You can use the code Japes to get yourself a 5% discount on their instant delivery. So, you guys briefly saw the squad that we are going with on the screen. It's Barreto on the left, Vatinho in the middle. In front, we've got the Inform Wellington. On the right, we've got Kelvin. Our two holding midfielders are, I believe it's Evaldo from Porto, and of course, Alan, who features in our Path to Power Silver team. Across the back, we've got Tells, the Inform de Glau, Chico, and the Inform Michelle, of course, with Inform Aurelio Gomez in goal. I think I just nailed that. Or at least I came close. And this is going to be one of the most ridiculous, and let me say freaking ridiculous, cup runs that I have ever gone on. Com filled with complete buffoonery on my behalf and just all sorts of epicness to make up for it. So you can see we give up a really sloppy goal. One nil down. This is the first round. Usually the first round, we kind of cakewalk it, no problem. And I got to say, this team... Once I sort of started to figure out how to play with it, we were in business. And this is a very, this is a slow build-up team, and you're going to see that. Uh, you're going to see a lot of very, very slow, long passing moves, holding the ball, waiting for the chance. And there's the isolation I talk about with this formation. Vitinho gets isolated on a center back, able to turn, bang home at the near post, bam, back level, 29th minute. We are in business. And then there was the kickoff. All right, I didn't want to tackle him there anyway. It's not a problem. And then I got flustered and frustrated, so I went for the slide tackle, and I missed. And we are no longer level. Way to go, Javes. Round of applause. Oh, I drew the wrong center back out. Wonderful little pass across for a very, very smart-looking finish. All right, 39th minute. We're down to one, but we would not go into half that far down we're trying to cut the deficit here working things forward Vitinho so I had to make a change usually I use my generic 4-2-3-1 instructions which are for the outside midfielder stay forward cut in behind and or cut inside and get in behind I just made those two the same one uh and then striker I use get in behind usually the attacking mid I don't change but because Vitinho has medium high work rates I told him to stay forward because he was dropping too deep for me uh in this match so that's a change that I went ahead and, ahead and made afterwards but uh we score we give up a goal 58th minute we're down two goals yet again and this was one of those ridiculously frustrating games of ultimate team because it felt like every time he got into my final third. I was conceding a goal. And I'm going to show you the stats at the end of this. It was just, oh, it was painstaking watching it happen too and just feeling almost helpless a lot of the time. So, But a nice move there from Evandro. He star slides free. He's more of a true CM than a CDM. I don't think, I think he has maybe 56 defending or something. But I slapped the Guardian on him, gave him a little bit better physical, a little bit better defending. And he did fine. He's got he's got medium medium work rate, so that works for your CDMs. You can definitely definitely get away with that. Now we're working for an 85th minute, looking for that equalizer to set us free in extra time. And I did not want to rush it because when I've been rushing at this game, that's when I've been getting myself into trouble. And we're slowly 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 going. If you guys remember the first goal, Tells just got absolutely bodied off the ball. At that time he shows up, says not today. Really, really fortunate deflection. Falls to Kelvin's weaker right foot. And the Brazilian makes absolutely no mistake about it. Of course, if there was going to be a title for this squad, it's my th it's a throwback Brasilver squad. You don't really see Brasilvers as much this year. It's not, it's not as much of a thing since the Brazilian uh, league has been removed. But I go ahead and make some changes uh, afterwards. We're going to bring on Dentinho and Wellington. And I think it's Wellington Nem. Uh, I want to say they both play for Shakhtar. Don't quote me on that, but I want to say they do. Dantinho looks to have brilliant stats, and if I was you wanted to use a non-informed striker, he probably would have been my go-to guy, but I had to go to a throwback in the informed Wellison. It's too bad he doesn't have four-star skills anymore to just terrorize defenses. You guys all remember when he was a gold in the Russian League. <sighs> Since he's moved on to the Turkish League, but 120th minute, and I saw the gap. And I hit it, and I took it. Wellington, Nem, take a freaking bow, you hero. When you've got a 90-plus substituted on player that has a gap like that, that late in the game, when he hasn't made any changes at the back, hit it. Go for it. 
you've got a lot more turbo, a lot more sprint than he does, or than he has left. And you can see he tries to body, but he have already squeaked on by. Last ditch effort, 120th minute, 5-4. The comeback was real. And those are the stats on the screen. 64% possession. 16 shots, 10 on target. Now you guys see the frustration that was building from that game. It was very, very, I'll take a deep breath here while I'm going through commentating. It just, a... all right, moving forward. Happy days. We've got that victory. And I'm going to go ahead and accidentally, I think, or no, I didn't apply the double squad fitness there. There was a one point yesterday or today where I went ahead and I applied like three squad fitnesses in a row, just having one of those brain, all sorts of over the place. This guy, interesting little squad. He's gone for a little South African connection on the left. Uh, I believe that's the Kaiser, Kaiser Chiefs uh, badge. And the rest of his team has got some BPL action in there. On how Di Maria sticks out is probably a player I'm going to want to keep my eyes on. But 45th minute, Vitinho moving forward nicely, or out to Kelvin. Evandro, lovely through ball finds. Wellington, or Wellington, and he just a little step over free inside. Bangs home. His shooting is above average. Uh, now, I say that because there were some shots that 100% I felt like he should have scored. And he, he skied it, he put it wide, and I, and I got frustrated with him. But there were some really nice finishes in some difficult spots. So uh, it's like it's above average. And he is a silver in form, so you'd expect it to be that way. That goal that I gave up, really, really frustrating. Aurelio Gomez for being an in form silver and having the stats that he has. Oh, he drives me nuts. I wanted him to be so much better and make a big save. And I just don't feel like he makes an entire save that really, really matters in this tournament. Uh, but uh, we're working it forward slowly. Lovely through ball. And it's a brilliant run from Vitinho. Perfectly weighted. Perfectly timed. 2-1. 68th minute. Well, or looking forward. Brighter things. And you guys will see. Some of you guys will see. That's CLF up at the top. That is Chip Life FC. For the first time in a long time, I went ahead and changed my name. That was an awkward touch there from Gomez again. What are you doing? Get it off your foot. 73rd minute, though, working our way forward, not rushing it. And you can see I am hardly using sprint. And that is because, especially with Wellington, unless he is sprinting in a straight line, you're not going to have a good time. He has something like 69 dribbling, three-star skills. You just will not have fun if you're trying to sprint around and change direction. So oh, he's off on that turbo. He's off on the sprint, and you'll have a lot more fun using him. Uh, all of these inform Brasilvers in this team, nobody was very expensive. I think the most I paid for maybe is the center man, maybe is Duglau. That's a brilliant goal from Kelvin, by the way. Using some skills, showing him off. Um, but that is, uh, it just puts a smile on your face, doesn't it? When you get a little skill run going like that, you include the five-star skiller, and you don't use all the five-star skills, but that Elastico is the five-star skill version, so we're going to take that and pat ourselves on the back, move on forward with our uh, our throwback Brasilver squad. So we're moving, I think there, I just applied two of them. It's really just a waste, but I have plenty of them to go around. This guy... Tell me about that pretty traditional-looking Bundesliga squad. A lot of people throw on Gundogan instead of Thiago or, I don't know, put Philipp Lahm in the middle, move Schweinsteiger over to the right. But he's got Royce, he's got Robin, he's got Lewandowski, he's got Neuer. So he's got the—, the those are really the positions where you kind of have options and you kind of don't. And realistically, the one option I'm talking about is, guys, include that Franck Ribéry. I'm telling you, he will not let you down. You will not be disappointed. And I'm really disappointed in myself because that was a very, very poor A pass forward. Went right to him and gave up an easy, easy goal. 2 0 down, 23rd minute. You gotta be kidding me. This felt like deja vu to the first game, except this guy was much more clinical. Wellington going forward. Come on, Wellington. What happened? Your strength. He makes a mistake at the back of Atenio there to clean it up. 2 1, 25th minute. So I needed to pull that one back, and I was able to. It was a very, very crucial goal because he more or less went right down the pitch again. 33rd minute now. I'm back down to two behind. Not anywhere close to where you want to be in the semifinal of a cup. 48th minute just after the half. Bangs right at Neuer. Falls perfectly to Royce. 4-1 down. You've got to be freaking kidding me. But I will tell you this. And I have, I've talked about it before in Path to Power. You have to believe that you're going to come back even like there's no point in screwing around you can always start to 
get a little bit or figure out a little bit more how your opponent defends, how your opponent attacks. And I started to do that, started to pick up on things. And the game gradually got easier and easier. That is a clinical first time finish from Vitinho. Working things forward. Well, it's in first time fake shot. Bam, near post. Wonderful finish. Above average shooting for him right there. So 4 3. 76th minute. The dream is real. 90th minute plus two stoppage time on the board. Barreto working our way forward. Plays a pass. Uh, slides free. And then he makes a brilliant run. And surely this is the one. Not meant to be. Not meant to be. And I was crushed. I had to show you guys the miss. But Evandra takes the corner into Big Douglau. Showing off his strength. Showing off his size. Getting me that crucial goal. And that did deflect off of Boateng, so thank you very much, FIFA. I will, I will take your assistance in that situation. That is a ridiculously good comeback. Coming back with the Silvers against a really strong Bundesliga team. Three goals down. You gotta believe. You gotta believe. We're making changes here. So I decided this time we're gonna bring on... I think Wellington Nem at striker because I, uh, Dentinho yeah, would have rather had the pace up top at this point. I'm going to try Leeds Adrian, who's had some issues in real life. And uh, you guys can look into it and read into it if you want to see what's going on. But he was one of my favorite Brasilvers before, so I thought, let's give him a shot out. Plays a nice ball forward here to Wellington Nem, who is using that pace. A little LTRT free inside. Sweat that. Seba. Seba. I don't know what your name is, but this is your first time on the pitch, and I am not happy with him. <sighs> Take another one of those deep breaths. 99th minute, plenty of time to snag one in extra time. This guy was on the ropes because he gave up that three-goal lead. And or, you know, the mentality and psychology of it at that point is uh, this guy's figured something out that I can't react to. And I was kind of figuring out how to press him. I'd gone attacking. I'd gone team pressing and high pressure. And this guy was struggling to figure it out. Lovely bit of work. Wellington Nem again. This man is our freaking hero. Part of me wanted to bench Wellington for Wellington Nem at this point because the guy gets goals, he bags goals. But I wanted to give you guys the inform because you like you guys like seeing the informs. You like you like seeing what they're all about. You like seeing how I play with them and so on and so forth. And if they're worth their coins, if they're not, I would encourage you to take that Wellington Nem that's on the bench, slap a striker card on him, move him up the pitch. That man is good. That man is good, especially if you're... Usually I like four-star skilled players, but he just seemed to pop up in all sorts of the right spot. FC UA Falona 01, who were up against second and four Menez at striker. I believe that's a second and four Benzema as well. The first one's an 86, so that would be the second. About a 900,000 coin card, something around there. 800,000 coin. Uh, expen 800,000. Expensive nonetheless. So he's got a pretty darn strong team. 89th minute, 90th minute is when we get this move going and we just needed one piece of brilliance this was very much a stalemate very difficult match i'm using left bumper right here off of a ball roll left bumper one more time kelvin you're gonna see the keeper it goes right over his head again a little bit of fortune a little bit of luck and that is going to be the difference at times and oh yeah i feel like you guys got to take a deep breath with me there what a cup run what a cup run Man, I was proud. I was happy. This was one of those where I felt like I earned it. I felt like I worked for it. It was not a cakewalk. And that was some very, very fun ultimate team. The frustration was there. The highs, the lows that you get in real footy. It all fell into place for that one. But I want to thank you guys very much for tuning in. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, a like or thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Other than that, my name is Japes, and I will catch you all next time.